Okay, so I did my last video and I was wondering if I could uh, unrestrict this uh, Ribble CGR ALE e-bike. So yeah, I found online the Speedfun Ghost for the uh, X35 e-bike motion. It's just like an adapter. So basically, these just pops out of some little clips. And this fits in between the connector. Take this apart. This goes in between. So let's have a look and see if it fits okay. Right, so basically, we take that apart. So this is the, the piece that you have to take out when you take the rear wheel off if you get a puncture or stuff like that. Now, as you can see, I'll show you. I'll size up. So there's a, if you can see that, there's a cross, uh, an arrow even, and that's to go match up with that arrow. I put some white paint on them. Easy to see when you're doing it, if you get a puncture. And as you can see, I've got another arrow there, and if that's picking out. Same again, I painted it on that one. So that's it fitted, but as you see, the cabling is too long. So what I'm gonna do is, Take it apart again. I'm going to push this cable into the frame a little bit because it goes up into there. So I'm going to flip the bike over and uh, just try and feed the cable inside a little bit and maybe have this further down, have a little bit on there so we can have it fitting slightly better than it was. Okay, so I can access, this is where the battery lives in there, but also you can feed, oops, feed the cables slightly better. This is difficult to do one-handed, so I'll bring you, to, bring you back when I've got it open. Yeah, so the battery's housed in there, and there's a few cables, but I can feed this one in slightly there. See that? Feed that in a bit, just to shorten this length for you. Okay, I've managed to get it fitted, but as you can see, it's very tight to the uh, tyre, so I'm going to have to zip tie this section here and this section here, just to keep it tighter against the uh, contour of the leg coming off here. So as you can see, it's still a little bit neat, but there's a uh, there's a good bit of clearance there. It's hard to pick out with this camera on the angle. But yeah, you've probably got about three or four mil. And I've tied it there as well. So one here, one here, and that's sort of pulled it in against the frame. And I'm still using the original clip on there and on the rear. So yeah. All is good so far. Probably see a little bit better from here. Still running along there. The cable management slightly better. Everything's back inside here. Yep, the wheels a good bit away. So that's all good. I just need to tidy up a little bit here. So yeah, this basically takes the speed from, so when you normally get at 15, it cuts off. This is supposed to allow you to go up to 18 and 19, so it's not a massive jump, but I normally cycle above 15 mile an hour, so that 15 was always a problem. So 16, 17, and we, we should be fine. But uh, proof will be in the pudding. Let's, uh, Take it out for a ride. Okay, we're out testing the uh, Speed Ghost adapter on this extremely windy morning. So I apologize if the uh, the wind sound, I've mic'd up so hopefully it should be better, but we've got a full on headwind here. So we're gonna test it and see where we cuts out and stuff. Oof, that is windy. 
Yeah, well, the Speedo on the, uh, the app is completely different to my Garmin. It says I'm doing 10 mile an hour, I'm doing 15, 16. So something is completely out on that. Yeah, can't rely on that. Okay. So we can't rely on the app speedometer. So we're on the Garmin one now. So that's a straight up 15 mile an hour, no drag like we used to have before. 15.4, I'll get it rattled up a bit more. Okay, now 18.5, 18.6, 19. Yeah, so you can quite easily get up to a decent, this is sort of, you know, when I was at 15, it used to cut out, as I said before. So now, you only want a couple of miles over the 15, really, up to 19. Yep, so this is much better. Quite a windy day. I'll just have to watch myself here while I turn this bend. Seventeen. Yeah, a bit of a gust there. Eighteen. You know, so it comfortably rides away. Eighteen plus mile an hour. So it's not easy doing it with one handed. I should have had the camera attached to the chesty mount, but I didn't. 18, yep, yeah, so it just happily ticks away at that. So overall, everything works fine. You're getting that extra three or four mile an hour above the 15, which I was getting previous. So that's, uh, that's all I really want. I'm not really bothered about going much faster. But uh, yeah, I'd imagine you'd have to take the day restrictor off if you wanted it taken into the shop for a software update, just put it back to normal. Yep, yeah, all good. Yeah, so if you're looking to go above that 15 mile an hour, this this adapter would be uh, just fine. So it's a bit pricing. I paid about 150, 160 for it. So it just takes me, as I said previously, takes us above that 15 mile an hour. Sit comfortably, 17, 18, without you know having to over pedal as it was before. Because as soon as you got to 15, I felt it just dip away the power. So it's simple to install. So what's not to lose, eh? So thanks for watching. See you all in the next one.